Ladies and Gentlemen, hallo und herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Folge. Pete's Meet Reacted. <lacht> Mit oh, wo aus, drauf denn Peter heute? Team Pete's Meet. Heute die wirklich letzte Folge von Als ob. I Built an Unethical Zoo. Ja, ihr fandet die so geil, ihr habt alle gesagt, ey, da gibt's noch eine Folge, guckt auf jeden Fall die nächste Folge noch und dann machen wir das. Ah. Gibt's nicht noch mehr? Kommt nächste Woche nicht noch ein Video von dem? Die sind echt cool. Ja, der macht ganz die viele Videos, aber ich glaube keine Planet Zoo-Folge mehr. So, seine neueste Folge heißt I Built an Unethical Zoo on the Moon. Also wenn also, da jetzt nicht 100 Stunden Spielzeit drin sind, dann bin ich enttäuscht. Also, ich glaube mehr, mehr als 100. Steigern. Wir werden sehen. This game so far. First we made a zoo full of giraffe ja, hydras, tossed a bunch of animal corpses on top of people before sending them down this ja. rift into hell never to be seen krank. again. Then we built another Rück. zoo with the finer ja. things in Rück life, like mascots with googly eyes das. and pizza stands that blast Lirian. dust into your das face time, while you're trying to get your food. Oh, and also we made like a human prison for animals, which all said and done looks kind of comfy. And then we kicked it up a notch and we built an actual zoo city, complete with the theater, our very own bar, a capital of commerce, and a nearby by suburbs. I got some new ideas, so let's get started. Ah, here we are again. A fresh canvas for new insanity. As always, this is the entrance to our zoo. Before even passing through these turnstiles, our patrons materialize on these convenient teleporters. You know what I never stopped to look at? Look at this awesome mural back here. This is just the <laughs> default thing that shows up with every zoo you make. And you know, I feel like it really sets the stage appropriately, if you're running something this happy. So I feel like it's probably our civic duty to oh, change this up. Oh, that's awesome. better. That's right. Run <laughs> Tools. Special oh, effects. Nein. Looking for one of these little nozzles that'll get me geil. smoke. Here we go. And we'll put it right in the engine. Yeah, there we go. It's really selling Perfect. the scene. Nein, and don't worry, food. little bear friend. We know you're appalled and sad, but I bet there's <laughs> something in here we can use to really accentuate your sadness. Oh, Ooh, like nein. these water jets? <laughs> 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 oh, that might be a little nein. Let's give it a shot. Okay, well, that's absolutely terrifying. All right, buddy, hold still. We're going to more. Is this is like this for me to figure out how to cry. <laughs> Gotta admit, though, it kind of works. <laughs> and you also may have noticed in the background we have a sunshine looking appropriately confused but it might be that the sun is just looking at this it's the moon dreaming about googly eyes don't worry buddy one day you'll have some of your own okay let's get started on the actual zoo people really come here for one simple reason to see animals so first we're going to put a couple of these nightmares out here i want to believe if we put enough of these God. things down it'll somehow get less creepy than more creepy i don't think it's happening ah uh, yes here we go a truly royal dystopian welcome you know what though it seems like something's missing. Oh, right. Your ocular implants. <laughs> Excuse me, you'll be complete soon. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, much better. <laughs> It's like I'm going to the grand ballroom on the Titanic <laughs> and everyone's here to see me. Oh, and I also gave oh, one and only one of them the ability to breathe. <laughs> What was I making again? A zoo? I always forget that's what we're supposed to do in Planet Zoo. So first I added some walkways here that we're gonna put to good use. And of course by that, I mean nothing but water stands. Mm, yes. Do you think they'll go here for water <laughs> when they can just drink all those bear tears for free? In fact, I feel like that's what I'm gonna call water from now on. Bear tears. And lastly, how are we supposed to know these are water stations? <laughs> Let's put that right there. Oh, hang yes, in there, yes. buddy. Don't make those eyes at me. Here, turn that eye frown upside down. And we can't forget these, which we're just gonna sink deep into their eyes. We'll just <laughs> aim the tears downwards. <laughs> oh my god, was that is so serious and nice. No, you're just gonna leave. Okay, I understand. Look at this, we've got our bear friend crying, and antelope crying, buffalo crying, wolf's looking kinda sad, an orangutan, and lastly, cheetah friend just over here, constantly shocked. <laughs> oh okay, refreshments man. are handled. Now let's focus on the next big thing. All that water, you're gonna need some restrooms. There we go, a nice big line of them. Except all these restrooms? Closed for cleaning, sorry. So I <laughs> guess you're just gonna have to hold 
it. Unless you're feeling brave. In which case, go ahead and take this secret path over here that'll oh take you God. to the one restroom that's still open. Don't say I didn't warn you, though. There's something weird about this bathroom. Oh but when God. you gotta go, you gotta go, right? Even if it says it's haunted. I mean, how haunted can haunted be, really? <laughs> because you just said all this. Well, the option's there if you want it. Now that we've got all the basic amenities taken care of, I think it's time for the main attraction. You said it, my terrified friend. It's time to invite some animals into our zoo. And I'm thinking right there is a great spot. So let's go ahead and set up a barrier. <laughs> right. I'm thinking brick this time. I mean, look at all these beautiful traits. Opaque, not climbable, watertight. Okay, in you go. Uh -oh. Go ahead and make this a little taller. Now we're gonna add a window. There we go. What a curiosity that is. Okay, here we go. Our first animal of the zoo. Well, hello there, giraffe. <laughs> How's it going? You comfortable in there? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. We're not done, though. We got to make it a little more, shall we say, magical. Hey, bear friend, can you help me out? Help me. That's the oh, spirit. God. <laughs> Have you just turned this way? Yeah, good, good. Um, yeah. Hey, you adjust your eyeballs a little bit? Yeah, look to the sky. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Just provide a little refreshment to our friend there. How do you feel about this, friend? You'll be fine. It's not like it's going to fill up with water or something. <laughs> Well, I gotta admit, oh I my what I was God. expecting. I guess it turns out this thing can hold water. <sighs> okay, I know oh, what gosh. we need to do. Park isn't even I open yet. Food. Days since no, last no. animal day. But that was faked. Really? Yeah. Du kannst Wasser ja, da, du hast da, du hast da so, uh, du kannst da Wasserfälle mitmachen und diese Spritzer da drumherum machen. Das sind auch. Das macht Effekte. aber kein Wasser. Also er hat selber Wasser reingeplantet und dann die Leiche da irgendwie reingeschmummelt. Ja, da ist glaube ich nicht mal Wasser drin. Doch, unten war, so unten war äh, Wasser be bedeckt. Ein bisschen kannst du wahrscheinlich machen mit ja, dem Land. Genau. Aber von mit den Bären, das ist ja kein Wasser, was da rauskommt. Das ist ja eigentlich, wie gesagt, nur Special Effect. Nur das ist nur eine Optik quasi. Ja, ja genau. genau. Ja, oh, Bastet, Bitch! <lacht> ich frage mich immer noch, ob er zum Beispiel dieses Prison, ähm, ob es da Mods für gibt. Äh, ja, was davon um, vorbereitet war, ne? Um Sachen. Oh nein, um jetzt zerstört mir nicht alles hier. <lacht> nee, aber davon hat er, glaube ich, ja, auch viel selber gemacht. Aber das ist uns viel zu viel Kleinstarbeit. Klar hat er da viel von selber gemacht. Ja. Aber also ich frage mich immer noch, also wie, wie man das so baut. Also viel Arbeit. Händisch. Viel Ideen. Viel Vorlagen, du kannst ja, du kannst ja alles kopieren. Ja, genau. Ja, gut, aber Fantasie hat ja nichts damit zu tun, dass du Sachen benutzen kannst, um Kram zu kopieren. Du kannst das alles machen. Äh, das ist gar, gibt's keine Mods zu. Das ist in-game. Alles. Nee, er meint, glaube ich, die Vorlagen. Also, es gibt ja ähm, Vorlagen, die, also fertiges Haus zum Vielleicht Beispiel. Vielleicht hat jemand anders ja. schon sowas genau. gebaut und der konnte also es aus dem Workshop laden. Genau, bei, so der, was, ja. bei der City war wahrscheinlich das ein oder andere Haus selber gebaut die, und klar halt einfach Leute. runtergeladen. Also. Wieso hat sich bei <lacht> Ich verstehe <lacht> euch. Bei mir hat sich einfach Anno gestartet. <lacht> nice. Ich dachte, das hast du gerade deinstalliert. Nee. Ah. Das habe ich gepatcht. Vielleicht deswegen. Der Patch ist durch. Dann denkt sich Uplay. Das hast jetzt sein, zwei ja. Stunden gewartet. Go jetzt for it. Ja. Ja. <lacht> Spiel verlassen. Ja, bitte. <lacht> ich habe hab auf Ja geklickt. Jetzt tu was. Hallo, beende dich. Wir wollen weiter gucken. Ah, traurige Musik. Und dann hat sich das Spiel beendet. Also kannst okay, weitergehen? Danke. Okay. Death. Okay. I mean, we all knew this would happen. Just even I didn't expect it quite so soon. Oh, your bones already? How does that even happen? <lacht> ah, da I'm so sorry, was this you're doing? Ja. I see that you're yeah, out of place. Ah, oh, okay. <lacht> Yeah, that's great. Don't ever move from your spot again. So let's try that again. I have another idea. Okay, same deal. We're gonna put a little window in it. This time it's a cute little window so that we don't make the mistakes of our ancestors. By that I mean, of course, we're still gonna spray water into it. See, there we go. That's what happiness that looks like. Do you like being version 2.0? Yeah, that's the Oberfläche. Yeah, but how much work is that? Well, I think this is enough zoo to open the park at least. Protesters have arrived at my zoo, but why? Is it the part where we just had... The effect of the water, so to say. So then when the water... Wenn du einen Wasserfall machst, hast du einmal diesen, dieses, dieses Brushen, ja, mhm. das halt oben an dem Rand ist. Und du hast diese Pfützeneffekte, die hast du auch, die legst du einfach aufs Wasser drauf, sonst hast du die ja, auch okay. nicht. 
Und die hat er da An rein. An animal gemacht. death? Because I assure you, this number can only go up from here. People seem to be enjoying how confusing this whole situation is. You know, I didn't think about this before. But now I feel like they're buying the actual tears of whatever animal these are. So I guess orangutan tears are just real popular. And it looks like we have some takers that need to go to the bathroom. Good luck, have fun. Well, overall, I'd call this a general success. And while this is all a good start, I think I have another idea. So everyone enjoy your fresh animal tears. I'm gonna make something new for you. <laughs> okay, so the park's been open for a little while. Alter, and one time we built something that zoo patrons really seem to appreciate. Er hat eine neue Giraffe geplantet, der Schwein. Wo? Da sieht schon die Knochen in dem kleinen Video. Oh, so. oh, Jay ist jetzt der Buster, Junge, der Mythbuster. Ja. Comprehensive Animal Slides. We're talking oh, six amazing fuck. shoots, each with corresponding animals. <lacht> And of course, each one has a giant hole leading to their individual slide. You'll know which animals are in which pen based on these handy dandy signs. And of course, you may recognize these signs as they have a corresponding tier vendor. So here's why these people are fighting tooth and nail to get in line to buy their very own <lacht> animal voll. tears. Every time someone buys a bottle of tears of the animal of their choice, Choice. That corresponding animal is volunteered to hop down the super fun happy slide of joy. <laughs> <laughs> See, doesn't that look fun? Look at that face of happiness. And oh, well, yeah. because business is booming. Oh my god, look at all the oh toys. My oh my god. god. <laughs> animals. Don't crowd yourselves, there's room for everybody. Ah, uh, there we go. I'm sure they're all fine. <laughs> Tough okay, at that. who's the kidder? That's not how this chart works. <laughs> I mean, if nothing else, those animal deaths were donated. At least someone's happy being forced to stay at the bones of all oh their friends. Well, oh, the captive so. audience, we might as well turn this into an educational moment by utilizing these educational boards here. Here we go, we'll just put this amazing little screen just right over here where the most people can enjoy it. I don't understand. Why can't I tell them to display a bunch of information about bones? That's fine, we'll just make our own display. See, can I just put a sign on top of this screen? Not even in a way that makes sense. Sign text. Bone pile. Circa 20 minutes ago. There we go. All the information you need. <laughs> Actually, I put another sign down below. Placed at a height where only children can see it. <laughs> Consider yourself educated. Well, this seems like it was a big success. So let's move on to something even more riveting. Like this giraffe friend just hanging out right here. Now, you might be wondering what, what this guy is doing up here. You see, when they're ready to make a plunge, they're going to go down this chute, which is going to bounce them anywhere to the left, oh center, God. or right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh be cool. Is that the targets he can hit. If they're lucky, they're going to end yes, up in this yes, habitat so. right here. Of course, if they end up oh, falling to the left, they're going to be dropped into this beautiful child daycare. <laughs> Oh <laughs> my going god. To the right, they're going to be deposited into this beautiful build your own stuffed animal emporium. <laughs> Very popular with the kids right now. So let's do this and see where we land. Okay, giraffe friend, you ready to go? Too late, no takesies backsies. Okay, going down the sh <laughs> Yes, there you go, buddy. Okay, cool where's this thing gonna take you? Looks like we're dropping to the left, then probably to the right. Oh, nope. Looks like he's getting sucked to the left again. Well, I think I know where this is going. Hey, kids, clear a path. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I warned you. Let's give you uh, one just... giraffe. So far, you're in the lead. Round two, let's go. Uh, <laughs> guy. Into a beautiful drop. Oh, you know, I think I know what this is going to be. <gasps> oh, my God, giraffe friend. What's happening to you? Oh, neck? my God. Well, I know where you're going anyway. Ah, oh, come on, kids. I'm sure you saw it coming this time. That's two giraffes for you. Final round. Okay. Let's see how this one goes. Not going to lie. If every single time ended up in the daycare, that's a win for us. Hey, kids, you get enough yet? First prize. <laughs> ah, well, that was fun. Oh, what now? Why is everyone running? Uh, bear friend, why are you standing out here? And what happened to your eyes? Ah, oh, crap, I've seen Terminator. That doesn't seem Tommy. good. Well, at least the rest of you are in standby mode. Uh-oh. <laughs> yes, just calmly make your way to the exits. I'm sure nothing bad's gonna happen. Oh, hey. Well, at least you're still okay, right? Okay, I will admit that's not a great sign. Maybe they just became self-aware to love us, right? <laughs> oh my god. Consequences to our actions? Well, luckily, it seems to be like Five Nights at Freddy's where stuff doesn't move unless you're not looking at it. Isn't that oh right, fellas? God. Okay, that's a little too close for comfort. Luckily, I've got just the contingency plan to deal with this. A little something I've been Come keeping under wraps for emergencies <laughs> only. Eyes. Yep, it's what you think it is. Modeled after the Saturn V rocket that took us to the moon, it's our beautiful ticket out of yeah, here. It's time to move. Yeah. All we need now is our pilot. Everybody say hello to Commander Grace. Hey, Grace, let's pick up the pace, okay? Time is not exactly on our side. Maybe get to work on that startup sequence, okay? Grace, did you hear me? Commander, does this thing work? Now, Grace, I don't want to tell you what to do. <laughs> Actually, no, I really do want to tell you what to do. But you might want to start that pre-sequence. Because there's like a thing happening out here. <laughs> and I don't know how much longer you've got. Alter, jeder oh, shot gerade. Das ist ein Film. What the fuck? Alter. 
Alter, wie viele das sind. Wie hätte er überhaupt die, die Rakete nach oben bekommen? Keine Ahnung. Der gerade der Shot, wo er da lange Tricks. Das, das könnte, Keine Ahnung. Das könnte muss irgendein sein, Special Effect ist? sein. Ja, das kann gut sein. Ja, irgendwie ein After Effects oder so. Der, der Shot gerade, wo die Rakete quasi an der Kamera vorbeifliegt. Ja. ja. So, what the fuck? Oh, mega gut gemacht einfach. <lacht> Well, Grace, I think you've really done it this time. If my calculations are correct, this appears to be the moon. And I don't know if we get to leave this. Although, you know, plenty of fresh ground, no bear terminators in sight. I think this might have real zoo potential. Because you know what they always say, when you accidentally land on the moon, go ahead and make moon pies. So obviously for our moon zoo, we're gonna need a place to put the animals. So first, let's establish some moon hallways. There we go. These ones go right to the shuttle, which we're gonna connect to these beautiful the moon domes I've made. Oh, and from nice. here, we're just gonna gonna have so much moon fun. See, now we're talking. Give me a second to put some stuff down and then I'll give you the grand tour. <laughs> All right, it's time for a moon tour. First off, kudos to Grace, who somehow managed to uplift this entire rocket. <laughs> Upon leaving the rocket, you're gonna wanna head down to the moon hub, where we have oh, an array of options to decide what we wanna do next. Let's start here. Okay, real talk though, <laughs> this isn't the bathroom. This is actually just Grace's quarters. I just thought putting one of these signs would be funny. Not like it matters, Grace spends most <laughs> of her time on the ship. So I guess what I'm trying to say is this is the bathroom. Next up, we have this cruel joke that I've labeled fun. I mean, I'm sure it's fun for someone, but really, it's just a giant oh, maze. Mostly, I just want to give Grace something to get lost in. And really, what kind of zoo would it be if there wasn't a moon maze? On the other hand, it does serve a purpose, because as you see, as the sun goes down and we get to enjoy these beautiful negative 200 degree nights here on the moon, and as pretty as our moon base is, I just can't help but wonder, are we alone on the moon? Or are there moon goblins? You don't know. There might be. So all I'm saying is it's good to have a backup plan, which is why if you manage to get through the maze over here, there's actually a way back onto the ship. But you know, I'm sure it won't come to that. I mean, moon goblins aren't real, right? Anyway, after you've had your fun, head on over to this mystery we discovered on the moon. Nothing all that exciting. I'm sure it's your basic moon mystery. Just this weird bottomless pit that I can't convince oh, oh. Grace to go into yet. I mean, I'm not going down there. If there's moon room. goblins, that's where they live. And for the <laughs> final leg on our journey, the zoo. We've spared no expense as we built this beautiful <laughs> moon menagerie, complete with high ceilings, pressurized atmosphere just like on Earth, and a lot of space for our animals to roam around in. And as you can see, we haven't placed the animals yet. I figured we could do that together. As far as I know, this is all the animals we had on the ship. To my knowledge, they're also all giraffes, because of course they are. Can't wait to try out our moon zoo. This is so exciting. Behold! <laughs> Oh no, what's happening? You guys I okay? Know. I mean, you were inside the dome. What happened? Hey, Grace, you let oxygen in here, right? Grace, that kills people. You were supposed <laughs> to push the big green button that says oxygen. All right, well, I guess we got to deal with this mess now. So I'm pretty sure these aren't going to decompose here on the moon. So we're going to do the next best thing. Dump them in a giant crater. All right, come on, everybody. Let's take a little trip outside. <laughs> oh, see, that's the spirit. You're all covered in moon dust already. And <laughs> in you go. A nice, neat little pile. This is going to be a real treasure for future generations. <laughs> Good night, you beautiful beast. So let's go ahead and call that a successful failure. Do we have any more animals we can try this on now? Oh, we got one left? Hey, that was so nice of you to bring it down for us. Thanks for the special moon delivery. Good to see her out and about. Anyway, where were we? Return to sender. Return to sender. Grace, did you even check the package? Hey, Grace, are you back on the ship? I'm going to assume that's a <laughs> oh no. My God. Get going, Grace. Initiate Operation Run for Fun. And by fun, I mean for your life. And don't stop until you reach the rocket. Also, I don't want to play the blame game or anything, but this is totally your fault. Well, Grace, looks like we're two for two. I guess the moon belongs to the bears now. <laughs> well, that was a trip and a half. I guess we have no choice but to keep going for more crazy space adventures. From what I can tell, at least this time, we don't have any stowaways. Speaking of stowaways, you might be wondering where did Grace go? Well, I made a little pit stop and dropped her off. I'm sure she'll be fine. So I think we're going to leave it there for now. Everyone pour one out for Grace, who's going to die on the surface of Mars, and I'll see you next time. Oh my God. Holy shit. Das war, das war sehr gut. Das ist einfach Holy nur verrückt. Aber man merkt, wie viel mehr Arbeit er reinsteckt. Also er muss ein richtiges Skript haben und hat da richtig Effekte reingebastelt, weil so einen Mond nachzubauen, also so, dass man nicht erkennt, dass es halt der Standard so ist, äh, schon nicht schlecht. Ja. Also das ist unfassbar viel Arbeit, echt cool. Ich, er hat sich jetzt, glaube ich, in so eine Ecke gedrängt, weil was will er jetzt noch machen? Das habe ich mich zwar ja. schon nach dem letzten Video <lacht> gefragt, aber...
<lacht> so langsam wird es halt echt crazy. Ja, diesmal gab es eine richtige Story mit den Ich wäre mal für eine Serie. Und so. So, so eine cool, fünfteilige Serie, ja. die halt wirklich eine Story verfolgt. <lacht> Das war echt nice. Gegangen. Also ich würde es zutrauen. Das war wirklich sehr, sehr cool. Äh, wie immer, original in der Beschreibung. Also der hat noch ganz viele andere Videos. Checkt das gerne ab. Wir danken vielmals fürs Zuschauen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Haut rein. Tschüss. Tschüss.